up guys? My name is Wesley, this is Stephanie, and today we are reacting to the Dolan Twins. Attempt number three to this get this This is like film. number six. This is like six or seven. Okay. Attempt number seven to get this <laughs> film. We're excited because last time they left this cliffhanger. I'm upset. He's upset. A variety of <laughs> And we're going to jump into it. I'm really excited though. They did cliffhanger us really, really bad. So it feels like this is just the next part of the last video, which to be fair, it is a series. But I'm excited to jump in to see that band. I, I know you are see too. It. Come watch with us. <laughs> this Ooh, that is our was house. Cool. And these are our house keys. Woo! And this <laughs> is our new home. What a fancy intro. Look at it that. It was really actually super cool. I actually thought it was cool. really cool. I wonder how many takes it The took. landlord's going to see it and be like, damn, um, guys, you realize I have to call a locksmith now to get back into my own house. You hucked the keys off of the off of the mountain you live on. Imagine how many took, takes it took for us to just do a little intro right here. Imagine how many it took them to do that whole scene. Oh, yeah. That they, smoothly. They probably nip at each other more than we do, too, right? <laughs> Man, let's move. Those cupboards. Did you look like our old kitchen cupboards? We painted ours though. Oh, that's why you said you didn't like the cupboards. So yeah, this is our van and <laughs> slash our, home. our kitchen. Within the matter of hours now, we are going to be traveling across the United States of America that's in cool. our new drivable home. We got a tiny home on wheels. So and I'm excited. I'm well, excited. Where's your fridge? I want to see your fridge. I think it's just like they're gonna eat out and stuff. It's like having a camper. I did too. Well, We're not going to be able to live maybe? anywhere else besides in our van. So everything that you have to do in your everyday life that you do in your house, we'll be doing inside of our tiny home on wheels. And whatever our house doesn't have, we don't have. We're going to be doing a proper tour of our tiny so home on wheels that we fast. built ourselves. Having a van has eat. always been something that really interested us, especially because I've been getting into watching a lot of people who live in tiny homes in vans on YouTube lately. I've always been obsessed with tiny homes. <laughs> I think just from... <laughs> Unlike always been my obsessed. brother, who just recently got into it, I've always, I came out of the womb, that was my first tiny home, a womb. Then I was like, when's my next tiny home? From watching videos, I learned how to build one. I mean, I actually did because it's inside of there and I built it. But this has been something I've always wanted to do and I actually got to live out this dream. This is the first time I'll be able to give Grayson credit with his building. What do you mean? He actually did really well. Guys, if you don't know Ethan and I, we are obsessed with the outdoors. We grew up in- There's a fly in my face. I don't like flies though. We grew up in the middle of the woods in New Jersey, and after moving to LA, we haven't really gotten that much woodsiness. We also love traveling, and that's something that we haven't really gotten to do as much as we wanted to lately. So, with this new home, we will have way more access to the green. Was, real, was that their car? Was that their shot? That was a sick shot. That was awesome. But also, where's the videographer gonna be? I don't know. Other nature outdoors. That's a really good know, point. Did I say it like Why did you that? call it that? That was a pretty grand name, actually. Wait, maybe we, maybe we leave it like that. Wait, maybe cut to like some B-roll like outdoors and have it, have Grayson's voice from before just saying over the Great Mother Nature Outdoors. Let me, and just let me have it pop up on the screen. No, it's fine. the Great Mother Nature Outdoors. <laughs> With this new house, we will really get to live alongside Mother Nature in the Great Outdoors. Dude, fly. stop freaking out. It's just a fucking fly. I don't like. Them. You're the one that said you like the outdoors. Right, no flies in the van. That's why we got insulation. I think it's finally time that we show you. Oh, that insulation, that's gonna keep out your flies. I don't know, I, don't I feel like they're gonna, gonna drive through Michigan and just cry or something, because it was, it would be terrible. Inside I of hate to live in a van Similarly in to the outside of the van, the front of the van on the what? inside kind of just oh, looks like a plain old normal van. But you know what they say, all plain old normal things are hiding something a little special in the back. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I, think they, I don't think they say that. You know what they say, <laughs> business in the front, party in the back. I think that was what I was. All right, let's, uh, let's just look Going at the thing. All right, yo, you start from the other side. Oh. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be over there. Oh, okay. We'll flip around. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to our new home. Come on in. We are officially... Oh, okay. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome well. inside our van. It's so new small. So right off the bat when you walk in, you're welcomed by this comforting homely vibe, which I think comes from the warm gray hardwood floor and the white wooden paneling that we have surrounding That's you. Cool. Also, all the cabinetry Very is dark. done in a nice cedar oak. I don't know. Okay, so it kind of reminds me of those diners that are kind of really old and retro. Chewing your lip. They're really old and, <laughs> and they're like too small. And like people can't fit in them, you know, you have to like squeeze into the benches. Yeah. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Like it's just a little too cramped. Oh, what have you chosen? Warm tone, shade of brown, 
Oh. Cleaning supplies. And then we have the... Of all the things you're going to keep in your cupboards, you're worried about cleaning supplies. Clorox. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Yeah. You're saying that. I keep saying nice, bro. I, but it is nice, okay? I'm sorry, guys. Then we got the squishy blue like funky cushions like that, nice. that are actually made out of really, five really inch cool. memory. I don't know if it's memory foam, but. It's not memory foam. And <laughs> I just want to see how we got the bat cushions, out. which are also made out of the same foam. They're just half the size. Accidentally, we gave our living room a little bit of a diner feel, which yeah. I think is pretty cool. It kind of like is rustic and old school. And then we have this two ply thick table that folds out for a reason. I'll tell you why later. And it's put together by a piano hinge on this side don't you're not talking about the stuff yet you're talking to the camera why i just want to talk to the stuff <laughs> talk to the stuff what no that is hinged by this long piano hinge or you don't know what it is yes it is stop <laughs> acting there's a hinge okay. here and we put a hinge there okay that's it Grace. No, okay. it's fine it's, it's, it's fine ah! it's two sheets of 40 inch <laughs> ply that we have a piano hinge connecting Dude, you're f***ing me up. It's annoying because I have I done anything? Have I done anything at all? We wanted to design this to kind of give you that beach house feel because we're gonna take a lot of surfing trips in this thing. We live close to Malibu, so we'll be throwing surfboards on top once we get a roof ready. Like nice and this will be kind of our surfer vibe. adventure vehicle. Yeah. But California also Riverdale has way vibe. more to offer, and there's places like Big Bear, Northern California, where we get a lot of snow and the temperatures are much cooler, which is why we went with this dark shade of wood to bring in some more cabin vibes. Dark. That's pretty light. I would call that light shade of wood. So I think that it's very versatile in, in the amount of vibes that you can get back here. <laughs> you could really just lay out. So there's like beachy, and catch there's diner, and it's a log cabin all in one. All, all in one, one baby. Okay. You can catch vibe back here. Where else here. would you want to go? <laughs> so there's no I know other you're probably thinking, this doesn't look too much like a space that you could live in. And we're going to be living in here for however many days it takes us to get across country. So let's get into the functionality of our van. So like I said earlier, there's a party in the back. That's why we have for extra extra party we have this here sound box if you remember that's what took up valuable space yeah. was a speaker do you know remember the van girl janelle yeah and how like immaculately planned every single inch of her space was yep i feel like this is this is when boys play in vans it's like yeah this is where i keep my baseball bats and my katana i'm just like, kind of cool there's no room for anything i know i'm kind of concerned for them, yeah. like, I feel like they're gonna be really cramped in this thing. It's a very, very loud speaker. It bounces off the walls, penetrates your eardrums, and gives you the f vibes. We're not sponsored by them or anything like that. It's just a loud speaker. The front <laughs> of the van already has a speaker, but it's like the normal sound system, so it's not that great. We want it to be really loud in the back, but not as loud on the front, because that's kind of like the more business side okay. and the reason why we got this is because it's battery it's operated when you turn the car off and if you have the electrical on your battery will die and then when you go to start the car up it's not gonna start up and wherever you are in mother of nature's lap you're stuck so to avoid the problem where we don't want to be stuck but we also want to listen to music we got a battery operated big ass speaker Oh, and then we also got this little trash can. Um, we're gonna have oh. to find a new spot for it because it doesn't quite open. The next spec I would like to show you guys is I just I, immaculately planned. So we watched this other girl, Janelle. He just mentioned her, her video, and I'm just like in my head, all I'm doing is a comparison between the two. And she used like every inch of space. She had a fridge. She had room for her pets. And she had one person. She had one person, and like every, but you could tell all of her like worldly possessions were in that van. And here, it's not meant for that. So it's two different purposes. Well, it's also just, I don't know. I'm kind of concerned. I'm um, getting more and more concerned. There's our curtains here. As you saw them in the back... Um, wait. What, what, wait, what? talk to me. Okay. Just talk to me, a normal human being, please. I am. You guys saw them in the back. They're covering the window. <laughs> when, when Ethan's not on camera, he's just like... Death staring Grayson off the side. Over there, but there's still light entering through the front of the vehicle. So, talk about how I made them double sided with the cushions. Okay, I'll, I'll get to that. So, we have two sets of curtains here that can fully close out all light from entering the living space slash cool. bedroom. So at night, when we're going to sleep and, you know, gonna be sleeping until the morning, we don't want the sun to get in right away and wake us up. We keep these shut. What does that sound like? And we got a nice dark and us. cozy cabin back here. Also, it just adds more to that comforting, homely vibe. Just being kind of closed in by curtains, you feel a little more Lucky protected. Best. It's almost like a... Yeah. It also gives you <laughs> privacy when you're hanging out here in the back. You know, if you're having like a real kind of party back here, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just kidding. That's not happening. That Roger with the bros! Oh my gosh. <laughs> is, it, 
Here we have our armoire. Is that how you say it, Gray? Yeah. We have two door handles on it, and it opens. That was an armoire. Just like that. We put these hinges on it, Just and like they I like thought. auto close. They're like one of those that like once you close them, they start closing slow. That's what ours are. You don't like that. Kind of, kind of sexy. It's it also helps them stay open so they don't like flop around while you're driving. We also have like little rubber padding We've on the got corners those. of each door so that when we're driving, like those, if they bump around a little bit, you won't be able to hear it. In the armoire, we have four shelves. The whole purpose of the van is that it is. The whole purpose of the van is that it is livable for identical twins. That's why we have the armoire split in half. So <laughs> one section that. is Ethan and one section <laughs> is Grayson. Up top, we got some coat Those racks. Are the because we're going to be driving all over the country. Sometimes it'll get cold at night. We'll need some heavy coats that maybe can't fit in any of our other storage compartments. So they'll hang in here. These will basically be our closet. So we'll get shoes in the bottom, maybe some bathing suits. If we're going to like jump off some cliffs into some water or something. Maybe some. I'm just getting increasingly concerned and frustrated with how they're using their space. Me too. Like what shelf just for a bathing suit? Underwear. That's the armor. <laughs> okay. The coats are laid out well. But the rest of it though, I'm just worried, man. This section right here is for our utilities. Things that we may need on the road, things that our home is gonna need. Most it's kind of like storage supplies. for our house appliances. I feel like Grayson is a neat freak when it comes to germs, where he's like- Talk a lot of it. Don't you think that he is? Grayson's like a neat freak? Yeah. yeah. Up top, we're gonna have things like probably toilet paper, paper towels, soap, because we're gonna be showering on the road, oh, possibly going to the place. bathroom in the woods That's if good. need yeah. be. Down below, we have a pullout, which paper. will probably store most of our appliances slash junk. It's like a junk drawer. And then below that, Hey, um, don't go down okay. there. How many times have you like, Sorry. And then below that, it's <laughs> just more storage. Everything we need for the road and for our home right here. And then we have the overhead compartments. What about your toiletries? Sorry. Like Again, I have the left it. side. Grayson has the right side. So these are going to be just whatever we want to put in them that we would, you know, put in our bedrooms. Just some extra storage for when we're traveling on the road for long periods of time, like we're about to be. Underneath our overheads, we have some lights. That's the ceiling cool. lights are powered by the car battery, so we can't have those on if the car is off or else the car will die. So we have these battery operated lights that are under our overheads and you can turn them on and off with the little simple switch. So we can have those on when the car is off. That's nice. Cool. <laughs> oh, there's Apples and cereal and gasoline. That's what the Dolan twins run on, confirmed. You're not supposed to carry gasoline around with you when you drive. That's really dangerous. Really? Yeah, because if you get in an accident, it could explode from the gas fumes and everything would blow up. Yeah. Does so our really seats right? No, it's like a thing. You're not supposed to drive long distances with gasoline in your car. Really? In like one of those things. You're really not. Right here are seats, the but container. they also double as storage compartments. Underneath both seats, we have two flip-ups in which we- Well, baby, think about it. How are you supposed to get gas? If you if you ever run out of gas, you need to go and get gas if you don't have one of those containers. Yeah, for short trips, you're not supposed to take a whole container with you. No, if drive. it's empty. Up empty, yeah. Yeah, like people carry those empty. Underneath both seats, we have two flip-ups in which we can store more of our- that Where's we're taking with bed? us on the road. There is our biggest storage compartment so we can really put anything we need, like a space heater for cold nights, a generator, whatever, needs to lie underneath the seats. Probably even like another friend. You could, uh, you could honestly store, no, we shouldn't say a body. We're guys in a bed. <laughs> the seats can be beds for napping, but we actually have a proper bed in this place. Let's That's get to that. This is my favorite function. This is our table. Now I know we just talked about our bed, but that's here's why. The but that's why we're talking about the table because the table. I'm so curious how much changes they're gonna make when they actually start using it. Table also folds out into a king size bed. So we have a post underneath okay. that it's drilled into the floor. But if we take that post off the table and out of the floor, we can store that's it. You see skeptical Wesley eyes come out. We have a king. We have a king size there's, bed. There's no way a king size bed our, fits in this van at this all. This is like maybe a full size bed. Maybe. We our have king, a king is ridiculously it's big. Huge. Like we couldn't fit our king on camera right here. No. On like, this webcam, it's so big. It's enormous. It's huge. And we've got more space. I feel like on this couch than they do in that van, right? It doesn't seem like In one of the under seat compartments. But the 40 inch ply table is actually an 80 inch ply bed that folds out, which lays on the support beams that we attach to the outside of our seats. Then you can take the back cushions and put them in the center and it will create one giant king size bed. Then all you have to do is throw a king size sheet a king on size top. We got a little fuzzy one, you know, to keep warm. <laughs> and you got your mattress. We're gonna be sleeping in here with three guys for some days. Oh, three guys. Three large guys. <laughs> yeah. And then when we want to get back on the road, 
road, all we do is turn it back into a table, eat some breakfast, and boom, we're off for the day. The three guys yep, are not going to fit in there. Look at them. Their bodies with already take yeah. up half of the van. Yeah. Like almost. Yeah. And a bed. Look at that. There's not a king size bed in there. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, it's really cool how it works. That's that's not a king. That's <laughs> no. It's a queen at best. Oh. It's not a queen either. It's like a full size bed. It was. There's no way three dudes <laughs> would sleep in that. was more comfortable than my real bed. This is the first time we tried it, and a plus, a plus comfort. No way. No way. Also. That, those cushions can't be good for your back. Well, we're back to just chilling at the table. It's breakfast. Time. Such old people. We are really old people. Here we have our fridge. I our home refrigerator. You can't have a home without a fridge. It connects to one of the charging outlets in the car, and that is how it's powered and cooled our food that is inside of it. It's pretty cool. We're going to bring all of That's our really meals cool. on the road just so we don't have to stop too much because we have a long ways to go. And it fits perfectly in between the two seats, and you can use the cup holders That's on top cool. as well as the cup holders that are already coming with the car. That was a tremendous explanation, Gray. <laughs> the third dude is for sure just gonna sleep in the hall, right? Like for sure, right behind the seats. I, I'm sure. We'll see how this. For goes. sure. It's actually okay. There's more to it than I thought there was. It is really cool that they built that. Oh, it's super cool. It's super cool. I'm just waiting. So as you cramped. can see, the outside is kind of the only thing that's. Oh, not like I, I, it's awesome. Yeah. It's it's an awesome van. Yeah. It's really freaking cool. It's dope. I just feel like because there's two of them it's, and they're big dudes, and there's not, not just there's three of them. There's three people going on this trip. Mm. It's gonna be crammed. Van. It's a little creepy. Yeah. Plain old vans kind of look a little bit creepy, so we're gonna do something to the outside that makes it look less creepy and more adventurous. Yeah, we're just gonna put a bunch of fingerprints all over it. Uh -huh. no, that was a bad joke too. Well, why you put you smudged it. Now wipe it off. <laughs> It's fine. Not with your hand. We're going to be changing the color of the van. We have a color in mind that we really like. It's kind of going to go with the theme of the whole entire inside and everything. We're also going to jack up the wheels right now because they look kind of boring. But like from their perspective though, wouldn't you not want that? Because when you're road tripping, people are going to see you and recognize you. But they already, they've already road tripped by this point. If they're releasing it. But what if they want to do another We're going to get some nice <laughs> black true. rims on there with some big beefy wheels. Add maybe a little roof rack to walk around and picnic on top of the van. Some scenic overlooks, that'd be sick. Put our surfboards up there. Put a little ladder on the side so we can climb up to the roof. Put a little bumper on so it's a little indestructible just in case we back <laughs> into things, which we might do because Grayson's not good at going back. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> that was the van tour. Thank you guys for watching. For the next episode of this series, oh, we're going to be fun. going on an adventure in our new home. Across the USA. Twenty seven hundred miles across the entire Where are we? We saw an alien. <laughs> We're on the highway in Canada. I thought we've been to that hot springs. Over. Guys, they just took us out of the car and searched the whole thing. My neck and my face is freezing off right now. Click me again. Really sketchy, like not even exaggerating at all. The road is completely covered in ice. Are we stuck on the highway? For all night. I have no clue how we're gonna get out of here. Bro, we're sliding, we're sliding. He's gonna crash, he's gonna crash. Why did we do this? That is if we make it. If we hopefully we'll make it. <laughs> we'll hopefully make it, yeah. Uploading posthumously. Tweeting about the video posthumously. Oh my goodness. But guys, I'm excited. I'm excited too. I almost feel like they teased it a little too much. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, no. yeah. I'm like, oh, I wish I didn't even know anything was gonna happen. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Wesley. I'm Stephanie. And this is Wesley and Stephanie. We love you guys. If you haven't subscribed down below and turn those notifications on. <laughs> I was like, did you forget the word no, there? Did you want me to fill in? I thought I wanted you to jump in, but you didn't. So I had to, like, alley-oop to myself. Oh, my goodness. But we love you guys. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you tomorrow because we react most days. And most days we react. And sometimes not Saturdays. Yesterday we didn't because it was Thanksgiving weekend. But we love you guys. Come watch with us. Yeah. Almost every single day. Bye.